Hey, welcome back. What keeps me up at night is many different things. And one of those things is phishing email, especially when a user receives a malicious attachment in an email and they go to run it on their device. So I wanna show you a capability inside Microsoft 365 called Safe Documents. And what this does is when you download a file from say your email or maybe just from the internet, it's gonna open it up in protected view first, and then it's gonna take a copy of that file, send it off to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, formerly known as Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection, sandbox it and scan it, and if it's found to be malicious, it actually stops you from being able to do anything else with the document other than read it. So no printing, no exporting, no saving, or anything like that. If it's found to be safe, it allows you to just go ahead and proceed with using the document. I think you're really gonna like this. And this is just a basic feature that everybody should be enabling to help better secure their environment. So let's take a look at how you set this up. Okay, let's first take a look at this in action. So here I have an email. Uh, this email is from Matt Sosman at yandex.com. He sent it to Megan Bowen asking Megan to review the updated contract. And so Megan's just a regular end user. She's gonna go ahead and open up that attachment. Now it's gonna launch inside Word, and you can see here that the file is being verified by Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection. You can continue to read this file while we verify it. Well, if I exit Zoom here, notice it immediately turns pink, and if we look at it, it says the file has been verified by Microsoft Defender ATP and found to be malicious. That is safe documents in action. So what that means is if I try to save this, look at this it is not available, I cannot save it. If I try to do something else like uh, print it, well, notice all of the printing options are grayed out and I can't even enable printing. Uh, export is grayed out, I can't really do anything with this document other than just view it. So that's safe documents in action, pretty cool, right? So let me show you how to enable this and set it up on the back end. Okay, so to enable this, we're gonna log into security.microsoft.com, uh, Microsoft 365 Defender. And then over on the left side, under email and collaboration, we're gonna click on policies and rules and go to threat policies and then scroll down and select safe attachments and then global settings under safe attachments. And then we're gonna turn on safe documents. Now notice I have the bottom one unchecked because I don't want my users to be able to uh, click through it. I wanna make sure that they stay protected. Now, this does require Microsoft 365 E5 or Microsoft 365 E5 security add-on license. So over in the admin portal here, if we just look at my end user, let's make sure that they have the appropriate license enabled for them and assigned. Licenses and apps. And boom, Microsoft 365 E5 is assigned. Perfect. So now if we flip back here to the regular uh, screen, or sorry, back to my test box rather, uh, if I just open up a regular document, you will notice that it opens up just fine. But if I go to open up a malicious document, it scans it and then it turns pink. Now, one way to go through and look to see how is this working in your environment is back inside Microsoft 365 Defender, if we go to advanced hunting over on the left side and run a query, device events where action type contains safe doc file scan, we will see a bunch of entries here. Now what's cool about this is if I scroll over on these entries all the way over to the right, I can see no result, no result, clean, boom, malware. So that's exactly where I can see where it found malicious content in that document. Now, if I pull up that device and we take a look at the event logs for that device in the timeline view, here we could see event, event of type safe doc file scan observed on device. Boom. And then if I scroll through this a little bit more, I could see uh, some other things where Word tried to establish a connection and some other stuff. So pretty cool, huh? All right. One last thing I want to show you is if we go back to our KQL query here, uh, something that's really easy is I can write up this query and make it a little bit more advanced to say anytime it finds malicious document here in the state or the verification result equals malware, well then I can create an alert for that. So I could just create a detection rule 
and then from there um, go through and, and fill out some of the fields here. So if we just put some garbage text here just so we can skip ahead to the next section, choose a frequency. Uh, I can tell it anytime it impacts a device and then take an action on that device. So maybe isolate it, run an antivirus scan, uh, pull an investigation package, maybe restrict app execution of synapse only. Uh, and then it will also create an alert for me as well. And then I can be notified about it. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so this is all about safe documents in Microsoft 365. Pretty easy to set up, but very powerful once you do get it going. Okay, folks, give me a thumbs up if you found value in this. Hey, if you didn't, no problem at all. Be sure to subscribe because I have a lot more videos coming and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.